everyone, it's um, another one of my weekly chit chat card making videos. I'm hopefully going to be okay. I might just move the camera a bit because I think I'm going to knock it. So just see that. Yeah, so it's another one of my weekly um, card make vlogging chit chat videos. So this is the third one, and so far the comments have been nice. Um, and I've had, I think, another subscriber, so thank you for that. I really must try and maybe make a note, if I can remember to do it, of who has subscribed to me to sort of thank them. Because um, I do appreciate it, so it's really nice. And, yeah, so keep the thumbs up, the comments, and if you're not already subscribed, then subscribe. I do appreciate it, and as soon as I get to 500 because I'm over I think last time I looked I had 153 um, yes when I get to 500 subscribers there will be a giveaway I know that's quite a mild thing to ask but when you see some people with like 20k plus who knows um, so yeah I thought I'd play with one of my gorgeous girl decoupages I've made them up prior ages ago because sometimes I like to sit and just you know make up a load of decoupage and put it in my image box so I've got quite a few images done and as she looks a little bit Christmassy okay I know she's got bare arms but she looks a little bit Christmassy I thought I would make a Christmas card because I really have got a bit behind I've made I'm okay virtually I think I've got all the ones I need to make for my own use but for making for selling and charities and stuff I really am really behind so I need to sort of make a few a week so I thought I'll make this one I'm not sure if you can see or not but I've already embossed this bit here um within with yeah with the girl, gorgeous girl embossing folder it came with a kit and I think I put that in a video a while back so I'm just going to ink this because I've got a bluey blue and white thing but where the embossing is I'm just going to ink over that and silly me didn't get my ink pads so I'm going to go with um, like I said a blue and white theme so I've just got a couple of different ink pads um, they're the Memento Dewdrops so I've got Paris Dusk and summer sky and I must admit the weather in the UK at the moment is absolutely oh it's just lovely it's so nice so I'm just gonna roughly go round um, yeah so the summer has been absolutely it's been well June wasn't overly great but now July's come along and it's picking up and it's really hot I don't think we're used to it I mean I know I'm melting so as my craft room's one of the cooler rooms, I thought I would do my um, YouTube videos because I, so I think I said last week I was going to have a day where I do a load of videos and then upload them in the week slowly so then I'm not having to keep doing a video every day once I've got my tripod out, it can stay out and then I can do a load of different videos so it just makes things a bit easier for me um oh i don't like that bit there i might have to see if i can smudge over that a bit more but it's not i've got a bit of a splodge there but um i might be able to cover it up with something so i didn't quite plan that right i just splodged it on so got a few shades of blue and i do like this embossing folder because um as you can see it's got that bit in the middle and a collection of stuff over here if you could see what's not on the camera it's just a bit of a <laughs> it's a bit of a bomb mess because I'm just putting stuff there so yeah um I'm just going to move that out of the way because I want to colour this in as well but I think yeah I think I will use these again so it's all the same sort of colour tone um yeah so it's been really really hot in the UK the last few days and it's been great I mean we went like I said before we went to Swanage um not the weekend just gone because it's Tuesday the 19th of 
July. I think Nan's going to say August, but it's not yet. So, yeah, so that was nice to do. That wasn't so warm, but since then it's really got warm, and I'm not sure what the temperature is today. Yesterday I think it got to 24, and that, that was warm enough. I only took Lexi for a little road walk yesterday because I had her for the weekend. I was hoping to do some videos of her, but one thing and another, it didn't quite work work out. But as I wasn't quite up to videoing after I walked her, but I'm hope uh, I'm going to have her again this weekend. So I will try and get some videos of her because I think it'd be nice to have something a bit different. So, oh, that splodge isn't too bad. It and this this is a dye. Um, Part of it's missing because I took it off for another project, but it's a pix, um, sweet pixie dye. Um, so that's quite nice because um, you can break it up and use it in bits. And every now and then, when my scrap box is full, I will have a day where I just get my dyes out and I cut loads of things. I try and do certain things like this in white card because then obviously you can colour it whatever colour you want so I think that's going to go there. So this is just a simple little card sort of thing because I know my last one was like 20 minutes plus and I'm sure you don't want to hear me rabbiting on that long all the time. Let's just make that and then if I can I'm trying to make sure I'm staying in the right bit. This is just off an old Christmas card. Um, I keep some Christmas cards, like my fave ones and ones that are handmade, I keep them. But the others I chop up and use bits of. So I've just got that there. So I'm just going to mat it onto a bit of coordinations card. And my stock, I just looked at it today and I thought it's really running low because I haven't bought any paper. Um, like coordinations or big paper packs for absolutely ages so I'm slowly trying to make myself a list of things I want to chop up on but it's going to have to take quite a while because obviously um, with moving here it's cost quite a bit and yeah money's a bit tight and I'm sure we're all like that and it's no fun so I set myself, sorry, I like to try and put things away while I remember. I'm going to try, um, now I've lost the plot. So yeah, I'm slowly making a list of things I'd like to get. I've got this little book that my mum gave me. And then I just write down things from different companies I'd hope to get. And then when I get some pennies, I will do say like this one is fan for um, fantastic ribbon so one month I would just order some ribbon because I set myself a budget sort of thing and it works for me writing it in there thinking oh I need that so it goes in there and then if I'm going to say like the range or hobby craft or any other craft shop then I if I know I can get some of that from there rather than say the company like Crafters Companion then I'll take some things off that list and do a bit there so I do try to be quite organised with my craft spending well any sort of spending I really do budget myself because um, well I've said lots of times I haven't got tons of money so I'm not expecting anybody to send me free stuff or anything it's not why I'm saying it um, but that's why another reason there's not always a lot of haul videos because it could be a while before I next get something just because sometimes the budget has to go out the window because the stupid thing like a bill crops up so and then I've shown this before where I just dab the glue so I'm just going to scrap a bit of card out of the bin so I can um, just spread it but I find for me this way works for these sort of things um i have had fine nozzle things before um where i had a bit of trouble i had i think it was when flower soft first came out i had their glue with the fine nozzle and i mean i put the pin in did everything it said and it just dried out so it put me off a bit so this way is working for me at the moment so i might just stay like this 
So I just realised then whatever that is is on there. So I'm going to try and lie this as flat as I can. Yeah, so um so I'm hoping in August if no nasty bills crop up, then I can sorry I'm just rubbing the glue off my hands. I can then get some Christmassy stuff because I think I said last week as well I didn't have much Christmassy items. I mean I've got a stamp, I've got one actual like a call proper stamp and then I've got one Christmas digi stamp that I won ages ago in a blog competition. So I really do sort of need to get that going a bit. So I'm just dithering here whether we have that straight. I think I'm going to have that straight and I might use I'll get in my box foam pads for that one so I'm sure I'm like most of you you cut your foam pads and stuff and sometimes I think we don't think of things until somebody says it I mean it's such a simple idea and I 